that's because we are looking at the gradient getting steeper and steeper.
So 
v over 9 equals to 4 over 3 and v is equals to 12. Okay, so the speed of the car is 12 meter per second.
the distances first for each of the segment. Okay, base this. So the distance okay, for first and two seconds. That is your triangle. So half times base times height. That will give us 50 meters. The distance from T equals to 2 to T equals to 6. That will be your rectangle. So 4 times 50. 200 meters. And then distance from T equals to 6 to T equals to 8. That is again another triangle, which the base is 4, because 8 minus 6, that will give us 15 meters. So we figure out the individual segments first. Okay, I'm finishing here. Okay, go, go, go. Alright, so now that we have figured out the distances, okay, I can go and think of what are the points that I need for my distance time graph first. So when time is equal to 2, I know that I'm arriving at 50 meters because of my calculation over here. But my next question is, when time is equal to 6, what is my distance supposed to be at? It should be 250 yeah? because we have already moved 50 meters, we need to add another 200 meters. So that is usually a point where most people make mistakes in. Okay, it should be at 250. Then the last one, add another 50, it should be at 300. So this is a cumulative graph. Yeah? It adds on. Okay, 50 plus 200, then plus another 50. Okay, so we have these three critical points. Then now we need to decide on the shape. Okay. In this case, oh, we're not drawing a best fit line. Okay. So in this case, right, we have a diagonal line in our speed time graph. What does that tell us about the object motion? It is increasing speed, right? Oh, what's the idea? When you have found us. And then over here, I have constant speed. And here, I have decreasing speed. Okay. We need to know the object's motion in order to tell what kind of curvature we have. So for increasing speed, Speed is being informed in the distance time graph by our gradient of the tangent. So if you're having an increasing speed, we are expecting that the gradient is getting steeper and steeper. Right? So therefore, okay, so gradient steeper. Or tangents being steeper, it will be precise as so in other words, the curvature that we want for the first two seconds is going to look something like that. Okay. Then after that we have constant speed. Okay. Constant speed means that you have uniform gradient. So your gradient. Your line should actually be a straight line. Something like that. Okay. Then in the last part, we have decreasing speed, which means that our tangent should be getting gentler. Okay, so therefore, your curvature should be something like this. Alright? Now, some advice for you when it comes to drawing your graph or the speed.
sketch like this. Not acceptable if your graph is exaggerated in this manner. Not acceptable. Okay? I trust physics is also the same. Okay? I don't know lah, okay? But in this case, while yes, I understand that you're here, you're trying to tell me it's increasing speed and down here decreasing speed, but you cannot have it exaggerated like that. It cannot be distinct, uh, distinctly like separated out between this segment to this segment. It needs to be smoothly connected. So sometimes you may be hit by the by the grid itself. So in this case, it needs to be a smoothly connected S shape. Okay? You don't have to use a curve ruler to draw, just draw freehand. Okay? Because it's just a very short segment only. Just draw freehand. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay? Any questions? Alright. Now, for me, this is the last question, but HBL tomorrow. Okay? I got a simple task for you. Simple. We need is a greatest task. Okay. No. I want you to do example 1, 2, and 3 of this worksheet. Just answer part A, if there is any, and part B. Part B, all I need you to do is draw your axis and plot points. Simple, right? Okay. Huh? Example 1, 2, and 3. Okay, on your worksheet, page one. Okay, all the way page one. Okay, I just need you to draw the axis and plot points. Oh yeah. It shouldn't be too challenging. On the graphic. Yes, not on this worksheet. I don't know how you want to draw it on this worksheet. Now. 